What a lot of people don't realize is by 1985, the number of CS degrees going to women had come close to 40%. Unfortunately, after that, there was a huge decline. So by the 90s, I had a very hard time hiring young women. Women aren't making it to the top, and it's stagnating. Women have had 14% of the top jobs in corporate America for 10 years. The blog at Uber was almost a seminal moment. It was clearly not a good environment. Women get paid 23% less, 77 cents to the dollar. There is subtle gender bias. You will have more doors slammed in your face. I never noticed it. I don't know. I grew up with three brothers, and I just, you know, you just deal with things. But now I have a lot more sympathy when I see, wow, this is really was tough. For a long time, I really did not want to participate in the women in technology conversation. I didn't want to get put into a box of, oh, you're a woman founder. My, my personal opinion has changed a little bit. To think that I would be somehow afraid or encumbered by an idea that I'd be entering an environment, um, perhaps which other people see as toxic, was almost funny to me. I was like, oh, word? I should be scared? You think I've ever faced something like this before? As a woman in technology, like, two things are true. I'm underestimated, but I'm remembered because I look different. And so I learned that if I say crazy stuff, <laughs> people remember that. And then when I do the crazy stuff, they're like, whoa, I thought she was nuts. She got that done. And then they bet on you the next time. If we understand the stereotypes and we see them playing out and we call them out, we can change them. For those of you in the room who are men, it's also on you when someone ignores a comment made by a female colleague sitting around the table it's a lot easier for you to say well debbie said that five minutes ago diversity creates stronger systems right so um, i'm a big believer in it that said silicon valley has a been a machine that kicks out certain kinds of companies and certain kinds of entrepreneurs and you know we need to break that mold what would our literature look like if only 20 percent of women knew how to write. I think it's really, really important for us to make computer science a required curriculum. This is going to take a lot longer to change than we all want, but I really firmly believe that encouraging more girls and women to get into engineering and tech and entrepreneurship, and once you get more of them into the funnel, they're going to be setting the culture from the beginning. I do see the tide shifting. It's, it's going to take a while, and I think we all have to support each other in so doing, but I definitely see a shift.